Whether you have a diagnosis or not, I don't care. Jump inside this podcast and I'm going to teach you how to read your own blood work so you can find the answers to your health concerns. Yes, those normal labs that your doctor keeps saying, oh, they look great. We'll see you again in six months. They really have answers in them if you know how to read it correctly. So come join me along this journey, leave a review and share with your friends. Let's dive in. What health coaching certification program do I recommend? I get this question asked all the time. Well, I've finally vetted them out. And the one program that outshines all others is Functional Diagnostic Nutrition, or FDN. There are three reasons why. One, it's very clinically based and teaches labs. I myself turned down a master's degree in functional medicine because it didn't teach labs. Two, you have lifetime access and it always gets updated. This is important because things change and you need to be in the know. Three, when you complete the training on your timeline, they have an incredible post-grad community. So they don't just kick you out on the streets and say, good luck. If you've been thinking about receiving your health coaching certification or are a practitioner looking to branch out and scale a virtual practice, now is the time. Make 2023 your year. Do this for you your family, and those you're about to help. Go to fdntraining.com slash Dr. Kylie. Check the show notes for a $250 off code available for a limited time. I am happy to announce that I have partnered with Functional Diagnostic Nutrition because I love their program so much. They are now the podcast sponsor. All right, let's get into the podcast episode. Here we go. Welcome to the Beyond the Diagnosis podcast with me, your host, Dr. Kylie. I can't believe it, but we are six seasons in and nearly 200 episodes. We've been doing this for about three years now. So I'm glad y'all love it. I'm glad you've all stuck around for a while. Um, I have on with me a naturopath and health coach. Her name is Lauren Nelson, and she has a story of, let's just say nobody wants to sit in her shoes at some point, but that said... She understands what you're going through. If you've been bed bound, if you've been stricken with chronic fatigue and all the things and no one can figure out why, let's not, because Lauren is going to not only walk you through her story, but how she overcame it, what was the cause, and it might shock you. And in fact, I'm just going to give you a little secret tidbit here. She had to move states in order to get healthy. So, Lauren, Thank welcome you so on. much for having me. It's a pleasure to be on. I've listened to your podcast for years, even in the depths of my chronic illness. So it's pretty exciting to be here. Yeah. So explain to us where you were. What, this chronic illness we talk about, where were you in? in it's that life? hard to really grasp how bad and how long it, <laughs> it really was. But I started getting sick in my late teens. I'm in my mid 30s now. And I was going to doctor after doctor with this just extreme fatigue. No one could figure out what was going on. So once I hit my 20s, I went, I continued to get more tired. I at about my mid 20s was basically housebound. And at some points in my journey, bed bound, um, with really no answers, hope or solutions. I'd either go to a naturopath and spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on supplements, or I'd go to my regular doctor and they'd just tell me to maybe reduce my stress or, you know, but everything was normal and looked good. And um, so I decided to take healing into my own hands and went back to school and went down the rabbit hole of research. I am a research geek and figured out that I was living in toxic mold. So at that point, I, we were living in Portland, Oregon. And we, um, you know, if anyone is familiar with Portland, it rains a lot and I could not find. And when, when we say it rains, I mean, I lived in Portland, Oregon for four years coming from desert, Utah. I mean, I knew it was a desert, but it's like, you don't understand it when you go to something green. Now it's gorgeous. But when I, when we say it rains, it's just like this moisture just sits in the air all the time. 10 months out of the year. Sometimes it will actually physically rain, but it's usually like this light mist. 
that's always there. So if you think about mold in a wet environment, people experience this a lot along the coast too, like San Diego, where you've got the, the mist coming off the ocean. It's a big deal. So she's bed bound, she's house bound in a house that's causing the problem. Exactly. And being in Portland, you know, we were renting at the time. So we just kept trying to find different places. So we um, ended up finding a house that we thought was safe. We ended up buying it because we were like, if you purchase a home, you can control your environment. So we bought this home. For a few months, I was like kind of getting better and then went through a winter and I had all my symptoms all over again. And the symptoms are very familiar to me. I could start to kind of pinpoint this extreme heavy exhaustion. It felt like there was cement on my body at all times. And I decided I'm like, all right, if the mold, the house is making me sick, I'm just going to start sleeping in a tent in our backyard because at this point I can't get out of bed. So I um, pitched a tent in our backyard and you know, it was summer, fall at that point. And so I was like, you know, I think, <laughs> I think this is re- realistic for me. Um, yeah. Oh and then winter started to come back around. It started raining all over again. And I'm like, I have to live in an environment that is conducive to my healing. So we ended up having to sell the house and head south. The house might have been fine for most people, but for me, I just can't genetically um, detox mold. And um, I kind of use the bathtub analogy of if your bathtub's overflowing with different things in your environment, emotions, infections, my bathtub was just completely overflowing. And so we moved to Arizona to where I could kind of reduce that bathtub overflow and be in an environment that's drier and sunnier and more conducive for my body. Um, and it's been great. And now I'm, I'm helping others do the same. Did you do any testing in your house? In Oregon? So in Oregon? we did when we moved in, we did an army test and now mm-hmm. looking at it with my knowledge, I would, there were definitely things that were popping up. There was some stacky, stacky, stacky batras that was, um, <laughs> yeah, try and black, black mold. mold. Yeah. What is called black mold um, uh-huh. that had came back just a little bit on the scale. But really, for me, my big test was if I, when I leave my house, do I feel better? And they, and when I come back, do I feel worse? And the answer was always yep. yeah. Especially when I'd go, um, I have my family in Eastern Oregon, which is a little bit drier than the Valley of Portland, and so I'd go to Eastern Oregon, and I'd always feel good over there, and so. Then I'd go back and I'd be back to my bed and back to just being stuck in my house. And, you know, it, it went on for years, this journey of not finding answers. I mean, I, I tried everything and it was really came down to the environment that I was, I was living in. Um, I think that we're becoming more and more knowledgeable with testing, but at some point in the chronic illness journey, you've spent so much money. I mean, I can't, I'm not, I can't even add up how much I had spent during that time. And so, um, for me, the test was free. Just go, go get, a, get out of my house, see how I feel and get back into my house, see how I feel. And it was just night and day difference. Yeah. How many diagnoses were thrown oh, at you gosh. during that time? Um, well, it started when I was in my teens, I, they thought I had leukemia um, and probably, oh, yeah, we were probably, I'm 20 plus diagnoses, I'm sure. Yeah. Wow. And like, and it all came down to mold all toxicity. Down to mold toxicity. And it's really sad because there, I mean, I think we're now getting more educated on mold, but there are so many people that have gone through what I've gone through where it, it spans decades where we just have no answers, hope, solutions nothing and you feel like you're going crazy and really it's the air you're breathing in your home where you're at 90 percent of the time especially when you're sick and you can't leave the home so then you're stuck there even longer yeah yeah i had a patient a long time ago when i was doing patient care I say a long time ago i've only been in this business for five years but um she had done all the things she was so sick came to me, I gave her the blood work thing, gave her the supplement regimen, 
And at for the end of six months of a supplement regimen, she had she claimed she didn't feel anything different. When I hear that, I immediately start asking questions about the environment. Now I ask the questions be, about the environment beforehand, but back then, and she decided she told me that in her basement there was a leak, and it had been there for years. And I said, okay, well, until you move out of your house, you're not getting better. Well, I just don't have the money. You do have the money if it's a high enough priority. And think about over the last 10 years in your health journey, trying to fix your chronic fatigue. How much money have you spent with physical treatments when really the best thing you could have done was just sell your house? Exactly. And I mean, at that point, I couldn't even work. So the money loss of moving, I mean, I can now work and, you know, contribute to my family. And before that, I was just spending thousands of dollars on supplements and not getting any better. Yeah. Okay. That's a powerful story. So now what do you do with patients? In, in your yeah, so I have taken your functional blood course and I um, went back to school during this time to, cause I started going back to school when I was still kind of coming out of the depths of illness, because I was like, I'm not going to let anybody in my family, friends, whoever I may come across, go through what I've gone through. Um, so now I work with clients. I work with them to make sure their environment's clear. I assess their blood work. I assess their emotional um, healing. I think that yes. emotions are 50% of what we go through with illness. And, um, you know, it's, it's amazing when you talk to clients and you go, so what was going on in your life when you got sick? And there's always a story there. It's a, whether it's a divorce, um, a, a grief, whatever it may be, a job loss, there's always something emotional that has pushed them over the edge to where that they're more susceptible to disease. And um, so I work with them a lot on healing the emotional component as well, because I think that that's, that's a lot, a lot of the story for most of my clients. Yeah. Now, when you say emotional healing, how do you go about doing yes. that? What did you do? Yeah. So it? I became certified in mind, body, spirit release. So I can muscle test remotely once I have an interaction with someone and figure out what, what their body's storing. So um, I'll give an example. My husband has had crazy back issues since the loss of his brother. He, we lost his brother a couple of years ago and, you know, we went to all the doctors, couldn't figure out what was going on with his back. So I muscle tested him figured out that his body was storing, storing grief. And then I take a cold laser and I go through acupuncture meridians. And he said that when I was putting the laser over different parts of his body, he felt his body get hot and release his back pain. And he hasn't had back pain since. Um, oh, that's cool. And it was a cold laser. It wasn't like you were pricking him with the needle, touching his body. You just shine a laser on those acupuncture points yeah. and bam. I love that because, you know, as a, as a chiropractor by degree, I just couldn't, I couldn't do, I couldn't do the pain management clinic. And when I knew that there was so much more to it and those people coming into your chiropractic offices, they didn't want to deal with that stuff. They wanted you to just crack their backs and, and fix them and be gone. And that was after they had tried everything else to even get to that point. So if you're a chiropractor listening to this and you're like, uh, how do I, how do I get out of this business? How do I mold my practice into all of this stuff? You're in the right place. Cause I've got some good things coming in 2023. So if you haven't heard the announcements yet, you need to hear the announcements. I'm going to just zip my lips until they happen right now. So, um, okay. What have you got going on in 2023? How can people learn more? And, and yeah, so go to my website, medellahealing.com. I have a free blood work download. I also offer a free 10 minute consultation to see if we're a good fit because we have to both be um, dedicated to make sure that we're, we're driving and aligned. Um, so yeah, go to my website and get that free blood work download to get started. Cool. Um, what a quick question yeah. for you, Lauren. It's actually not quick, but if 
the listeners could take action right now, what would be your three tips to helping them avoid or no mold? So I think that the biggest thing is here's your permission to go on vacation, get out of your house. Um, because if you're not getting the answers and you're trying different things, get out of your current environment and see if that makes a difference. If it does, there's a likelihood that your environment is causing some of your symptoms. B, you know, we're going in, life is stressful these days, you know, figure out what works for you to reduce stress. And I, I always hated before when someone would say that to me, but stress doesn't, stress management doesn't have to look like meditation. Stress management can be going for a walk. Walking has, was my, became my superpower in healing. You move your lymphatic system. You take big breaths of new fresh air. So figure out what works for you to reduce your stress. And then number three, and make sure that you're fueling your body with good nutrients, be, food. You know, make sure you're eating a whole foods diet. Just avoid the middle part of the grocery store and, and make sure you're nourishing your body because it's really mind, body, and spirit to, um, to really heal. So get out of your current environment and be careful. Don't just like go hang out on the beach where other mold houses are. What works for you to reduce stress? Um, I love how you mentioned walking because I've had conversations with, with clients where they're insisting on going to the gym and working out. And I'm like, um, no, you're stopping that. And even I, I see pe people post pictures of themselves or videos like, I'm doing this 30 day program. I'm working out. And I think, ah, you're destroying yeah. your body even more, but I'm glad you feel cool that it's exercise, but it's find that Avenue of movement. It doesn't need to be exercising, running your guts out, say something that you hate, but you're doing it because you have to, or you go to the gym and lift weights. Like it can be walking. It can be yoga. It can like, there are so many different avenues to get movement in. And I like how you said not only walking, but taking a few walks during the day. Like I spend a lot of my day at the computer, whether I'm sitting or standing, but I liked now that it's freezing cold outside. I don't, don't do it as much as I should, but you just take the walk around the block. It's five, six minutes, clears your mind, clears your head, and you're more productive because of it. So reframe the way you think about exercise, reframe the way you think about stress reduction. And then three, fill your body with nutrients it needs. It can't work if it doesn't have the tools it needs to do with its job. Okay, so Lauren, once again, they can learn more and work with you at MandelaHealing.com. She has a free blood work down gu um, guide there, guys. You should go check it out. Y'all have been listening to my podcast. You know how valuable blood work is. So go grab her blood work, get download, and check out what your labs really say. Then speaking of labs and mold, I often get this question, is there, a, is there a marker on your blood work that can determine mold? You would I say would no, say no. Because right? I'm going to yeah. say no. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe you know differently. Yeah. No, there's not. There's the ERMI test in which you can actually test your physical environment. That would I would say has been the most popular. But again, as Lauren explained to us, just because you have those results and they say it's you know clear or negative doesn't mean yeah. jack crap. Two. I think the best test is exactly what you said. Get out of your environment, come back in. Did you feel better away? Do you feel like crap when you get back there? Those are good tests to figure out. So if you've been trying everything, all the supplements, all the blood work, all the things, check your environment and you might actually have to go get some emotional release. And I'm just going to call it that because I think that's what it is but where your subconscious gets rid of these emotions that you've just been harboring and you might not even know it. Just like her husband's example, back pain, it's gone after he released the grief he was holding on to. So if you truly want to heal, you better put in the work and the effort to do it. But that being said, it's possible. And you can. Lauren is a walking proof. Lauren, what's your life like oh now? Oh my gosh. I, you wouldn't believe it. I mean, I I wouldn't wish what I went through upon anyone, but the things that I am so grateful for, we went out to dinner this last weekend and 
we were going to go out afterwards. And I'm like, I cannot believe I have the energy to do this. Like to be able to go sit at a restaurant, meet new people. I mean, the things that most people take for granted, I am so thankful that I get to do now. I exercise not too much. Um, I eat at restaurants. I, I live my life like the normal 34 year old. And, um, I never thought I could say that. So if you're listening to this and you feel like you've, you're hopeless, there is hope and you can get better. And Lauren's a walking testimonial. So again, one, go find her, grab her free blood work download at medellahealing.com. M E D E L L A healing.com. Thank Thanks, you, so Lauren. Much. The health coaching certification program that I recommend is Functional Diagnostic Nutrition, or FDN. You can get started anytime. So grab the $250 off code from the show notes and go to fdntraining.com slash Dr. Kylie and get started. Don't wait any longer. Make 2023 your year. Do this for you, your family, and for those you're about to help. fdntraining.com slash Dr. Kylie. Ready to have all of your blood work compiled in one location where you can easily read it all together? Well, go grab my book, Why Are My Labs Normal? on Amazon. Grab it, learn how to read your own labs, and take the power back in your hands because your normal blood work is loaded with answers. You just got to have the right person reading it, and the right person can be you. Go grab it on Amazon, Why Are My Labs Normal? by Dr. Kylie Burton. Leave a review, and we'll see you on the next episode.